Uh, I'm Mr. Ron. I have the Imagination Factory. This is our second uh, class doing the show. And uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Are you all ready for a big show? I think you can do better than that. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy the show, laugh, cry, uh, but there's no refund. Thank you for coming tonight, and please enjoy the show. Thanks. It's a brand new story in my room I can make all my dolls do anything Make a new world for my princess dolls Mystery will surround the stall I will use her to lead them all Every day I can make a new tale 
And this Ninja Turtle, if I've told you once, I've told you a million, billion, trillion times. Keep your messy toys on your side of the room. Howie, listen to me. I said wake up. All the right words to you. Look at it's my doll, you wreck. How will I break the news? How will you break it? your neck? How will they take it? Howie! How will I break the news? What do you think they'll do? Go to the kitchen to shade the blue. You'd be amazed at what he can do with some nails and screws. You, Sue, now let me too. Now don't you, Sue. All you gotta do is sign right here on this door line. Six letter word for metamorphosis? Change. Dear, are you trying to do the crossword puzzle? I don't think you have time before work. I just want to get a start on it. I'll finish when I get home. Angela, Howie, breakfast. Oh, and how you do start a little person. Oh, my heart. Morning, Mom. Princess, would you please go and wake up your brother? I already tried. He's locking it, same as every morning. Well, maybe we should tell Angie first. Tell me what? Tell me what? Dad, tell me what? Look, Angel, there's no easy way to tell you this. Um, come here. I know how much I love his old house, but the fact is we need a change. A bigger place, and your mom and I have found one. Sue, tell her. Dad, I don't want to move. Now, Angel. There are a lot of good things involved in moving, Angie. But, Daddy, all my friends are here, and I like my school, and... Now, Angie, hon, you'll make more friends, new friends, and besides, we found a much larger house. 
You and Howie will each have your own rooms. But I don't want my own room. Well, maybe I do, but I don't want to have to leave. I don't want any change. Now, dear, do you know what the word metamorphosis means? I think so. It means, like, changing or something. That's right. Now listen very carefully. Change can be a good thing. But I really don't want any change. Now, dear, when a creepy crawler or caterpillar goes through a metamorphosis, tell me what happens. It makes a cocoon. Then what? It turns into a butterfly. Exactly. But not just a butterfly, Angie. A beautiful, colorful, graceful butterfly. But, Dad... Now, dear, change can be a good thing. A very good thing. A beautiful thing. And this change will be good for all of us, including you and your brother. But, Dad... Angela, you're the oldest. You have to accept it, hon. The fact is, we are moving, and we are moving very soon. But, Dad, this isn't fair. This house has history. You said so yourself. You said it was built on top of this old castle. Remember the ballroom and the dancing? You told us the story of the 12 dancing princesses. No, princess, those were just fairy tales. Stories I told you when you were little. I mean, this house is old, but... No, Dad, no, they're true. Go ahead, Mom, tell him, tell him. Mom, what's he talking about? I don't want to move. What about my friends? What about my princess dolls? What about the shoes? I clean them up every single morning. Yes, dear, but that's just a part of your chores. You have to keep your clothes and shoes in order and keep your room clean and... No, no, you don't understand. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. It's time for a change, princess. I don't want any change. Well, all in all, she took that pretty well. Don't you think so, dear? I think you need to speak with your daughter. Howie, Howie, wake up right now. I'm awake. How many fingers am I holding up? Twelve. Just trust me on this one. Oh, come on, Howie, wake up. What do you want from me? I'm awake. Jeez, what do you mean, sister, you turned out to be? You think I mean? Wait till you hear what mom and dad are going to make us do. What? They're going to make us move, move to a bigger house. Yes, but this means I'm finally going to have Room? All right. You won't be touching my toys and moving them all over the place. What do yes. you? What do you care about your toys? You see them like dirt and then wonder why they break all the time. It doesn't matter. It's not like they're real or something. Howie, your broken toys are the least of your problems. We are moving. Do you hear me? Yes. I know. I hear you. And I'm all for it. I can't wait. Well, what about our school? Well, guess we'll go to a new school. I thought you said you liked our school. Well, yeah, but hey, my own room. Well, what about our fr what about your friends? What about my friends? Well, don't you think you're going to miss them? Wait a second. You didn't tell me moving that far. I got to talk to that mom and daddy or Howie, it's no use. Dad says we need a bigger place, and he says we need it now. Well, geez, what are we going to do? I don't want to move. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, but I do know one thing. When I get home from school today, I'm going to play with my princess dolls all night long. And I mean all night long. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to sleep at all tonight. In fact, I'm not going to sleep until we have to move. I'm going to protest. Mom and Dad are going to have to carry me out of here. Are you with me, Howie? Howie? <laughs> Howie, wake up! I'm with you. I'm with you. I heard you. Well, what I say then? Um, sleepy and moving. Just trust me on this one. Now, here's the plan. When we get home from school, we'll sneak into the kitchen. I'll grab the peanut butter, you grab the bread and milk. Hey, what about the jelly? Won't Mom and Dad get mad if we eat in our rooms? You know the rules. Mom and Dad are too busy. They're not going to check in our rooms. Now hurry up. I'm starving. Yeah, me too. You know, maybe we, we should have come down for some dinner when they called us. 
No, that would have been a sign of weakness. Angela, Howie, is that you? Uh, uh, Howie's just brushing his teeth, Mom. Here, quick, goggle something. What? What? I don't know, use your imagination. You kids go to bed now, it's getting late, and it's a school night. Okay, Mom, okay, Dad, good night. Howie, hurry up. Yeah. <coughs> you numbskull. Why don't you use the milk? I don't know, I can't think under pressure. You can't think, period. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Listen to me, little brother. If you ever cross this line, I will do you some big damage. You'll look worse than Frankenstein. You don't scare me, you're not so tough. I won't stand here and take the scuff. Really, I should call you bluff. You're just a harmless piece of fluff. A harmless piece of fluff? Come on, Howie, cross this line. I double dare you cross this line. If you want a big fat lift, then go ahead and cross this line. Yeah, yeah, will you cross this line? How you do not dare cross this line? Cause if you do, you'll see my bad side. Go ahead and cross this line. Hear me out, you little brat. I know you're just a scaredy cat. If I wanted to, you thug. I could squash you like a bug. Who you calling scaredy cat? Your problem is that you're too bossy. Always have to have your way. Now back off, I give you warning. Or I'll make you rue the day. Well, I'm gonna stay on my side. Don't you ever dare to cross. So remember, little brother, just exactly who's the boss. Well, stay on your side, that's okay. And I will stay on mine. As far as I'm concerned, big sister, that will really suit me fine. I'm sorry. You can cross the line. Howie. Howie. I just want to go to sleep. Oh, I don't believe you. We were supposed to stay awake all night. And right now, it's only five minutes till 12. And I'm still awake. And you, on the other hand. Howie, what was that? Howie, I think you definitely better wake up. Now! Okay, okay, just a little storm, it's gone now, everything looks okay. Howie, you're there, your broken, idiotic, messy, stupid toys are all over there, and my dolls are all in their proper play. My dolls, my princess dog collection, all 12 of them, they're gone, missing. Oh, okay, Howie, what you do with my dolls? Howie, that's you, isn't it? Howie, I said you could cross the line. Howie? My dolls went into the closet. Well, ha, who, uh, how'd they do that? They walked, I think. Angie, what are you doing? I just want to see where they went. Angie, don't go in there. It might be dangerous. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to take a peek. Angela? Angela! 
the dolls came alive. The dolls walked into their closet. Angela got up. Angela walked into the closet. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I have to be dreaming this puppy. No, 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 no. This is no dream. You no, no, no. Listen up now to what I say. I come from a land that's far away. Storm is raging, the clouds are churning, thunder is roaring, the lightning is a burn on. Reality has cracked the walls of the sea, points have flashed out randomly. Something's interrupted the scheme of things. Someone has disrupted the dream of things. Meta. Sister by the next round. Round this kingdom, dangerous lurks. So take this blanket with magic work. Wear this cloak and no one sees. Fantasy is blind to reality. And before these elements are set in motion, heed this warning. Don't drink the potion. Not only you can decide manifestly, but save your sister before it's too late. It's too late. the scheme of things someone has to have the dream of things meta 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 go and save her. Because, my friend, I'm fantasy. I'm Synchra, guardian of all fantasy. You, my child, you, reality. You, reality, have disrupted this story. The tale cannot be made by mere threads of fantasy. Only the particles of reality can repair this chaos caused by your sister's intrusion. But she didn't mean to get sucked into the closet. You have until dawn to save her, to bring her back. Once the sun meets the horizon, your sister can never return to reality. <coughs> Wait, well, what happened to her? She'll be stuck within the forces of fantasy forever. Well, I mean, what exactly is going to happen to her? It's not like she's going to turn into a cartoon or something. Is she? Remember, we have only until dawn to save her, to bring her back. But I don't know what to do. Dawn, and remember, don't drink the milk. Wait, don't go. What do I do? Don't drink the what? Don't drink the milk. And before these elements are sent in motion, hear this warning. Don't drink the potion. Only you can decide metaphysically. Save your sister before it's too late. It's too late. Reality's cracked the walls of fantasy. Warning signs are flashing out relentlessly. Something's interrupted.
draft is a scheme of things. Some master draft is a dream of things. Okay, okay, let's deal with this. Oh yeah, the blanket. I don't know really why, but they said this would help me. Don't worry, Angie, I'll save you. Hey, maybe I should wake up mom and dad. I wonder how this thing's supposed to work anyways. Like a cape or... I'm telling you, there's something strange going on here in Metaphasia. There is? I had her notice. My dear Princess Layla, you never notice anything. Oh, Roxy, you. I do too. Like, I noticed your new earrings. They are adorable. And that color goes so well with your new necklace. You space cadet, I've been wearing the same earrings now for up to months. You have? You know, I never noticed until now, that is. 
But I did notice your brand new shoes. Yay. Good you, Shmeel. Daddy buys us new shoes every single day. You'd have to be a real space case not to notice. Oh, never mind. Oh, my dear, you're looking marvelous tonight. Greta, you must give me the name of your hairdresser. Yeah. Thank you very much. What I did a it cool myself. Person. Yeah. I can help you with the mop of yours if you would like. Not amused. Yes, the kidding. I'm sure you've noticed all the peculiar happenings occurring here tonight in Metaphasia. Now that you mention it, Roxana, I have noticed some oddities. For example, just moments ago down there at the Silver Pond. Speaking of strange occurrences, have you seen the new prince? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. He can stir my chocolate anytime. However, he is rather short for a prince, don't you think? I think he's just the right size. <gasps> Yeehaw! I sure am looking forward to the here party at the castle tonight. Tonight's gonna be the best guy down ho down you ever did see. Or my name is Brahma Bonnie. I'm telling you, Brahma, there's something strange going on here. Shh. Hmm. Little White Crow thinks so too. I hear pitter patter footsteps heading this way. Shh. Everyone, quiet as the dawn. Footsteps grow mean. louder. Footsteps so stop. No one there? Well, I've just about had it. You Mustangs won't listen to me. I'm going back to the tower. And I'm certainly going to tell Daddy about all these bizarre developments. Oi. Have any of you seen the new princess? Hold on there, twirly girl. I hate to break the news to you, but she ain't no princess. She's just some guy I wondered in. No. No. It's me. I think that's what Roxy is talking about. It's unusual to see an outsider and hear metaphasia. <laughs> Well, she's going to be a princess. What, pray tell, makes you so certain, Trishnikov? Well, I overheard Davila talking to herself again. Ooh, I wish I could have been there. She always says such strange things when she's alone. What exactly did you hear Davila say? Well, Clever Trisha, the villa says tonight at the palace, the new girl will become the 13th princess. Well, let's go and get it. Avenue Bobo, you lead the way. Why, yes, gladly. We must go and tell her. A new princess! She'll be so excited. Hold your horses there, ladies. Yes, where does one search for this new girl? Yeah. Well, I just passed her on my way here. Yeah. Yeah. Do she was standing alone in some type of trance. That was for a different costume. She was at the silver yeah. pond. She had His some silver one. leaves in her hand, so she was just gazing into the silver pond. The silver pond always had a funny feeling about that place. Yeah, gives me the willies too. Well, let's go and get that gal. Lucky number, number oh, 13. Oh, 
Its powers put you it's wandering it's on mesmerizing it's slumber. She it's will it's fall. Thirteen. She believes that she'll be number thirteen. When I crown the new guest, she'll what? become a lifeless princess, and she'll join the other dolls. What? Always hot. Magic ways, mystic haze. Well chosen words combined with magic spells will bring forth potions. Lifeless face, number days. The powers I possess will set my planning into motion. Little does our princess know what transpires when she shifts the status quo. Thirteen, she believes that she'll be number thirteen, but she'll only feel the alterations we'll see happen. When life flows from her to <gasps> me. And where do you think you're going, my little man? You don't look like a prince to me. Uh, I'm not actually a prince, but I'm studying to be one. Just trust me on this one. You don't belong here. You must leave now. I don't belong here. I must leave now. Thirteen, what a lucky number, number thirteen. Its powers put you wandering on mesmerizing slumber. She will fall. Thirteen, she has no less than number.
tonight at the palace of King Aramis and Queen Cachette, only in the land of Metaphasia. They're new, they're exciting, they're hot. They are Tyrone Shoe and the Soul Thrashers. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, come one, come all. the villa is one scary princess, I think I better go back and get some reinforcements. No, 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 no. You cannot leave. You no, no, no. You must believe. <sighs> Narcissus is a part of the villa's plans. Now you gotta get her out of fantasy lands. Dorothy Princess must never be crowned, else the walls of fantasy come crashing down. Reality explodes in a squirreling scrawl, cracks grow larger in the fantasy walls. The villa's world can mesmerize. So get your sister home by the next sunrise. Next sunrise. Reality is trapped in the walls of fantasy. Wings have to flash and carry endlessly. Something's interrupted the scheme of things. Someone has to interrupt the dream of things. Meta, 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 Saw you night with her tonight. 
It's the same thing. I tell you, dear, the buying of these shoes is going to deplete the covers of my kingdom. No, oh, dear. There, I refuse to keep purchasing brand new dancing shoes for your 12 daughters every single day. I'm putting my foot down. This is no longer a phase they're going through. This goes far beyond the call of fatherhood. Now, dear, they're your daughters, too. What can I do? I've spread the word throughout the kingdom. I've trumpeted trumpets. I've posted postings. I even have criers crying that he, whosoever solves the secret of where my daughters disappear to every night shall be the next king of the land. Perhaps you need a sweet in the pot, 
dear? What? How's that? Maybe if we offer the fair hand of one of our fair daughters in marriage. No, no. I have a better idea. We'll offer whosoever solves a secret where my daughters disappear to every night. No, no, I have a better idea. We'll offer the hand of one of the fair princesses in marriage. Wonderful idea, dearest. Well, whatever we decide, something's got to be done now. Now, I say, now, now. Uh, excuse me, sire? Perhaps I can be of some help. You? A lowly woodcutter? Sire, I may be a lowly woodcutter by day, but by night, for I become... <laughs> well, all right, so I'm still a lowly woodcutter. <gasps> but, I do love, but I do love a good mystery. And besides, I could use a good wife. Pardon me, Mr. Cutter. But if a thousand princes have not been able to solve the mystery of the shoes, what makes you think that you can? Do you have a plan? Ah, oh, sire, I have something better than a plan. I have a brain! A brain? That just might work. Sire, I have vowed that by the third night hence I should discover data secrets. I shall. Tonight, the moon is full, the stars are bright. Have some wine. Daddy, there's something extraordinary I have to tell you. But I can tell you all about it later. Now, Daddy, about that wine. Perhaps a toast to the woodcutter, dear. Splendid idea, splendid. To the woodcutter. To the woodcutter. He who finds out where my 12 daughters go will be the next king to win, and he may choose any of the fair princesses to wed. To the woodcutter. To the woodcutter. But if three nights shall pass and he does not know, then I'll give one command, and that man shall lose his head. To, to the woodcutter. To the woodcutter. <coughs> Wait a minute, sire. That wasn't part of the bargain. Just formality, my good man. Just formality. I'm right here. Sign right here. Sire, I really don't remember discussing the removal of one's head. Mother, dear father, dear simple woodcutter. <laughs> At last, my plan unfolds. As soon as she becomes Princess 13, the entire land of Metaphasia will never be the same. There will be but one princess, and that will be me. There will be but one prince, and he will be mine. I will reign over the new land of Metaphasia. Once the walls of fantasy have been severed by the fragments of reality, the forces of no good can finally rule forever. somewhere before. Uh, I don't think so. Here, have some wine. Uh, no thank you, ma'am. I'm too young for wine. Then have some milk. Gee, thanks. It has been a long journey, and I really don't think... Don't drink the milk. What was that? Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> What did you say? Uh, nothing. Sisters, is she ready? If you excuse me, ma'am, I am suddenly awfully sleepy. I think I'll go take a nap. Okay. <coughs> hear ye, hear ye. The moment you've all been waiting for is here. Here they are live in your land tonight, that Metaphasian sensation, Metaphasia proudly presents Tyrone Shoe 
and the Soul Thrashers. <laughs> what did you say? as they know it, will cease to exist. There will be no more music for them. There will be no more dancing for them. They will spend the rest of their days and lives lifeless in an old, musty toy shop. Yeah. But I, I will live and live and roll forever. <laughs> Sisters, let the ceremonial dance begin. Here, dear, you stay right there.
Where'd who go? Find her. The ceremony must be completed before sunrise. <gasps> and hurry! And don't come Let's back do without her. I will find her. If I have to uproot every inch of this castle, I will find her! Howie, you've got a lot of explaining to do. What? Listen, Angie. We, we have to get out of here. Quick! Why? No, say. I was gonna become a princess. No, you weren't. You were gonna become a fried fantasy. What are you talking about? The villa was gonna make, no, the villa was gonna turn you and the other princesses into lifeless dolls forever and rule the new land of Metaphasia alone and marry the prince of her choice. And, and, oh, there's just so much to explain. Come on. What are you talking about? First I was gonna become a princess, then I'm not. Why do things keep changing? Changing, I keep changing. I am not the girl I used to be. Excuse me. Oh no, excuse me. Oh, okay. Say, may say, maybe you can help. We're looking for this, you know, like princessy new type person. 
Have you seen her anywhere? Uh, yeah, she went that way. Oh, okay, thank you. Girls, oh girls, think she went that way. Oh, My dear devoted sisters, The time has come for me to tell you of her fiendish plot. The little girl we thought was harmless, well, she's really not. Her simple story will unfold, the gruesome truth can now be told. There is a price to pay if she escapes our hideaway. The land we know is safe and sound, will be destroyed and never found. The songs we know will cease to flow if she's not swiftly crowned. She cannot leave, she must be crowned. Down. I can't believe that she would harm us. Is she really bad? She seems so pure. She's not. What rot? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. The sun will rise and time is near. The moon is well a faded glow. It's time to go, my dear. My plan will fail us and this tale, so now you will be crowned. She cannot leave. There's something else I gotta do first. Howie, where are you off to now? Just go and stay on site. <sighs> I'm awake, I'm awake. Listen, I got to make this real quick. Who said that? I did. Who are you? Where are you? Just listen and listen quick. What? What? Okay, number one. The princesses wear out their dancing shoes dancing all night long. Number two, don't trust the villa. She's bad news. And number three, don't drink the milk. The what? The milk! The potion! The wine! Oh, why not? The villa pours a sleeping potion into it every night. Just pretend to drink it, and you'll discover the secret of the shoes. The secret of the shoes? The secret of the shoes? Is this what this is all about? Uh, yeah, sort of. Gotta go. Wait a minute, who are you? My friends call me the Lone. Well, actually, they just call me Howie, but really, I've got to go. 
Here, you need this more than me. Use my blanket, a uh, cape, to follow the princesses around. When you wear it, no one can see you. You'll be invisible. Ah, uh, just trust me on this one. Listen, I'm really pressed for time here. Any questions? No, I can't really think of any. Could you hang up just one more sec? Afraid not. Good luck. Bye! Who was that? What was that? Your doll collector will be all right. Tomorrow night, the woodcutter will solve the mystery, and everything will turn out how it's supposed to. How do you know? Well, first, the woodcutter has my blanket, and the village powers won't phase him, and, and, oh, there's just so much to explain. I know. Just, just trust, trust me on this one. one. nice to be back home. Home. You know, Howie, whenever we move to our new house, I'm gonna miss this old place, but I'm kind of looking forward to a change. A new place. And you know what, Howie? When we move to our new house, I'm still gonna have my princess dolls in a special area set above my dresser. Howie, are you listening to me? Doll collection, special area, whatever. Seriously, Howie, I've been giving this princess thing a lot of thought. And I think I'm, and I think I'm gonna become a doctor, or a lawyer, or something like that. And, but being a princess is way too much work. Are you still talking? What's this about being a princess? My sister's gone completely nuts. You, like, you weren't there. You were. What do you mean? In metaphasia, you moron. You've dreamed up quite a story there. First mom and dad, and now you? That magic blanket must have erased your memory or something. Magic blanket? One of you wearing dancing shoes to bed. Oh, just trust me on this one. <laughs> Looks like a happy ending after all. No more cracks in the fantasy walls. People are people and dolls are dolls. Looks like a happy ending after all. Since we said it could nice and well. You're a thing of the past. Cause daddy finally got us shoes at last. Storm has raged and clouds have churned. Take 
There you go. I planned that. But let me introduce some people who were so instrumental in getting this show put together. First of all, Brittany Bell. Brittany, you back there? <laughs> Brittany did all the music, and she uh, directed the Tuesday Thursday class. She did a great job. Christine, I'm sure you're hiding somewhere. Go ahead, admit it, Christine. Where are you? Oh, way over there. Uh, stage hands come out. These are Arnold Stage Theater people, and they do all this for free. And they did a fine job, a fine job. And Mike Land and Gavin back here with sound. Summer Eubanks on lights, and Summer is the theater director here, and she could not have been more welcoming and more warm than uh, I could ever hope for. She, we appreciate her very much. Who am I leaving out? Gavin. Oh, got Gavin. I, my mother's Mom, backstage. Yeah. Come on, my backstage Gavin. mothers. I may. Wait a minute. They were called at like two this afternoon and they jumped on it. So thank you guys so, so much. And now you know why they were. Yeah. Now. Hey, there you are. Come over this way so you can be seen. All of you. Oh, yes. I want all my mothers out. They're the only reason all these kids are alive. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but anyway, thank you for a wonderful show. Thank you for being a great audience. I'm sorry the heat. Uh, God, to us, it's really hot back here, so y'all are the lucky ones. And we'll have a summer camp this summer. If anybody's interested, please check our website. And we hope to see you this summer. It's an audience. Thank you very much for coming.